All right. In this deep tip, I am going to show you how to take inventory of your hardware and software on your computer. Right now, I would like to make a quick note about the videos here. They are actually being captured on a dual monitor system. So they are actually 2048 by 768. They're they're twice, they're two monitor, two 1024 monitors side by side. So you get uh, the 2048, and so that's why the captures are twice as wide. And you also will notice that uh, I created a, uh, a custom background here. I, I uh, morphed several photos together and, and did a uh, panoramic uh, photograph background here of uh, Jasper Forest up in the uh, Petrified Forest National Park. But uh, let's get right on to getting some information from our computer. First program uh, that really, I mean this works great, is the Bell Archivizer. Uh, I've already downloaded and installed it. You can pick it up, uh, download it yourself from bellarc.com. It's free for personal use. And uh, first time you run it, It'll ask you a couple of times so uh, whether or not you want to go out and get a new database uh, for security information and hot fixes and whatnot. So I've already uh, allowed it to to do all that. So all it's going to do right now is do a little quick update of the profile of my system, recheck everything, make sure I haven't added any new hardware or software since the last time I ran it. And then it's going to open up in a web browser. Uh, we're just going to uh, let it uh, run its course here. It uh, pop up momentarily in a web browser and we'll uh, take a quick look at all the system information that it, it uh, got. First though, we want to go to file and we want to do a print. After we print a copy of this, we want to do a save as. Uh, you want to save it off of your computer. You want to save it onto a network drive or removable media, whether USB, SD card, uh, external drive. I actually have a directory over here on a, uh, a shared drive migration. And as you can see, I've already saved a copy out. So I'll just cancel out of that. And I'll uh, give you kind of an uh, abbreviated uh, rundown of what's inside of here. Uh, got your hardware breakdown. A lot of times uh, this is all correct, but we're going to go get a little bit more uh, sp hardware specific information from here on our second program. But what I did want you to pay attention to is the software licenses. This lists all the software licenses for all the software that you've installed. Office, your operating system, the whole nine yards. all They're all listed in here. So um, we've done a file save. So let's go ahead and we're going to grab this and just take it over here. And let's go over and open up the second program. Second program is the built in system information. And we can access it through programs, accessories, system tools, system information. This starts up and uh, it. Uh, goes through and generates a report. First time it takes a little while. Of course I just, uh, I've recently run it so the report uh, all did was gener regenerate itself. So first thing of course we want to do here is we want to do a file and we want to do a save. Uh, as you can see I've already got a copy here on my uh, network drive and uh, you would want to do the same too. I just named mine system information and I've already saved it out. It's a rather large file, it's uh, one and a half megs, but it contains all the hardware on your system you would ever, ever want. So let's go ahead. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the Bell Arc report contains all the hardwares. 99% uh, of the time it finds it all. There's that 1% of the time it doesn't, so we're going to do a little cross-checking. We've got copies of both reports saved off of our hard drive, so we can open them up on another computer if we need to. But uh, real quick, I want to show you real quick uh, 
right in here we have our version of Windows we have the the OEM system well it's a custom system so it tells us the motherboard the uh, manufacturer and the motherboard uh, the CPU tells us the boot device boot directory uh, the amount of memory, BIOS version, boot device. Then we want to go down here to the components directory. This one actually is where all the hardware is listed. We need to go through here and we need to check and make sure that all of our hardware is correct. That we've got our CD-ROM, CD-ROM burners make sure everything is correct uh, make sure our keyboard mouse if we have any specific drivers for the mice or keyboard we want to make note of those too uh, you basically any hardware or soft any hardware you have plugged into your computer or inside of your computer will need to go out and find the drivers for it because uh, basically we're going to do a, uh, a clean install and, and reinstall a new OS so we've got to find you know, all the hardware inside of our computer so we can find all the drivers for it. So that is how you go about finding the hardware and the software that's on your computer. Now all you have to do is go out to the hardware vendor site and find the drivers for the hardware for your specific operating system. And that's it for the hardware and software inventory geek tip.